uh, happy week from Easter. Happy isolation. Happy staying home. Hopefully you guys are, are staying home, staying healthy, um, and staying somewhat happy, somewhat sane as we're working through this uh, social isolation together. So as you guys come into the chat, just go ahead and type a message down below. Tell me uh, your name. Tell me where you're from. And let's just chat for a little bit. Talk about a few things that are going on here. Uh, talk about how you guys are, are working through all this. Uh, you guys like my shirt? Formidable nursing.com formidable is one of my favorite uh quotes i try to i mean let me bring up the definition of formidable formidable i'll type the definition in there so y'all can see it formidable that's the definition of formidable inspiring fear or respect through being impressively large powerful intense or capable I'm not trying to inspire fear, <laughs> but I am uh, hoping that uh, as nursing.com and as uh, with all of you, with this nursing.com family, that we can inspire respect because we're incredibly powerful, intense, and capable at what we do. Um, and hopefully you guys can, uh, can feel that. You know, I know all the stress that's going on and everything. It, it sometimes makes us feel powerless. Um, it makes us feel like... Um, you know, we're not going to be able to conquer and achieve our goals, but if we stay formidable, we can inspire respect because we're going to be powerful, intense, and capable. And I want you guys to know that you guys all are capable. You guys all can do this. Um, and I want you guys to know that, you know, uh, we got a lot going on and um, with school and clinicals and everything being canceled, it can be uh, extra terrifying, extra nerve wracking, but stay formidable. Oh, geez. Did I really do that? Oops. Sorry, sorry, didn't mean to flip you all off. Uh, stay formidable. Uh, you guys can accomplish all your goals. So Ashley from Florida, Nurse Z says, hello, hashtag formidable. Hell yeah. Ashley is from Treasure Coast, Florida. I'm not exactly sure where Treasure Coast is, but right before all this broke out, we were actually up in uh, the Palm Beach area at uh, Palm Beach State College. Got the chance to give a little speech there, and that was a ton of fun. Uh, I'll tell you what, too, the uh, students from Palm Beach State College, man, they pack a lot of energy. There's about 600 students there and they were just fired up. Um, and that was a lot of fun. That was a good experience there. So tell me how you guys are all handling this. We're about a month away from, from the semester ending, uh, about a month away from finishing up. Uh, some of you guys graduating, some of you guys just finishing up uh, spring semester and getting ready for more. So tell me how that's going. Ashley says she's 30 or 45 minutes away from Palm Beach. Palm Beach was awesome, dude. It was a, it was a good experience to be there um, and to attend that. It was the uh, Nursing Student Association Day for Palm Beach State College. And for real, like we've, we've spoken at a few different places, but man, those Florida students bring a lot of energy. That was a lot of fun. Here, let me... Uh, um, ah, I'm going to bring it up. All right, let's bring this up here real quick, guys. You like to dive into this? Let me share my screen. Here we go. All right, let me share this screen with y'all. Let's just talk. This is the screen where we uh, kind of go over the current cases, see what's going on in the world with coronavirus. So let's look at yesterday. I think they reset their meters. I'm not sure what time. So let's look at yesterday where we are with new cases. So worldwide new cases was 71,000 new coronavirus cases yesterday in the world with uh, the United States taking the lead by being almost five times the number of new cases elsewhere in the world. Um, with the US sitting now at about 300,000 cases and then we look at new deaths. Again, sadly, United States is leading that with new deaths being almost double uh, anyone else with a thousand deaths yesterday uh, with a total of 5,000 um, tests per million, which we want to drive that up. That's the number we want to drive up, right? We want to have a bunch of tests. We want to get everybody tested so we can track it and figure out what's going on. So we're way down here in total tests per million. Um, but let's go look at the, the U.S. and see kind of what happened yesterday. 
All right, so 336,000 total cases, deaths is 9,600. And listening to Dr. Fauci uh, speaking the other day, he, you know, their current models are projecting somewhere between 100 and 250,000 deaths. So this is a tragic, tragic number, tragic loss. Um, and sadly, we might be at the very beginning of that exponential growth that we might see um, in deaths. Uh, so new cases yesterday, New York is still really just getting battered by this. Uh, New Jersey, Michigan, California, Louisiana. Uh, sadly, they're just having a hard time dealing with uh, everything that's going on. Um, let's go down to Texas. Texas, that's where I live. Move down a bit, so that's good. And then total deaths, of course, New York, because of how many, you know, they're, they're dealing with there. Let's see, total cases per 1 million population. So New York is still at the top there. New Jersey, Louisiana, Massachusetts. This is the number of total cases per million people who live in the state. So that's a little bit about what's going on with coronavirus. You guys are all going to be the ones going out, working in that. What are, what are your schools doing right now with clinicals? Are you guys able to actually get in and, and work with clinicals? There was a, the NCSBN published an article saying, you know, uh, along with National League for Nursing, saying nursing students should not be classified as guests. They need to be able to get in there and help. And then in California, the governor said, well, let's get uh, like new grads and stuff to go out and work and, and, and get involved and stuff. Uh, but then there was a little bit of pushback from that saying, you know, we want to educate our nurses and train our nurses and make sure that they're able to um, kind of get the training that they need versus just sending them out on their own and not being able to learn. So I think there's going to be that kind of balance right now. We've heard from a lot of our users, a lot of the nursing.com members who are saying that uh, they're finding it really hard to get a job right now, um, that they're, uh, they've graduated, they've applied, and they're having a hard time finding a job. And I talked to my old nurse manager, and I think that the level of stress that they're going through, well, yes, they need more help, and we're about to kind of hit this peak where we start seeing this massive rush on ICUs. Um, at the same time, they're very overwhelmed with, uh, you know, taking care of their staff and making sure their staff is okay and making sure they can bring on nurses who are trained uh, while, while any new nurse can help, making sure they're trained and, and capable and able to work uh, is really important, too. All right, let's see. So Francis says, just doing online clinicals in Illinois. Online clinicals in Vegas, tons of case studies. Nurse Z says, lots of case studies, and they're out in Boston. So what are you guys doing for these online case studies? How do you like them? Do you guys enjoy them? Do you dislike them? Um... How does, that, how does the online case study work? You guys doing mostly like uh, reading case studies and then um, like doing write-ups on that or how is that actually working? And how many hours are those case studies taking? I'm curious. Yeah, so No Name says, our school is having us do something else online as an alternative instead of doing our preceptorship. Something about the hospitals being overwhelmed. <laughs> yeah, I think that that's kind of the the challenge is while it'd be awesome to get you guys in there, um, it's just really hard to get you guys like in there with nurses who have the capacity to train and everything right now. Raising a house full says online eye human for Ohio in clinical. Amy says we're doing virtual simulations. So it sounds like there's a good mix of what everybody's doing. I think the virtual simulations are probably uh, a little more helpful, I would hope, than the write-ups and stuff like that interactive video case studies. So we released that Nursing Clinical 360 where we put out a bunch of our case studies. Obviously, we didn't have time to respond in kind and kind and develop out these virtual case studies um, as we're just trying to stay on top of it with you guys and make sure we're able to give you guys the best um, education and training we can. Um, we were able to get the Nursing Clinical 360. Let me just share that. And So it is not you know, a virtual case study type of thing, but um, it will, it would help as far as case studies go, just kind of being able to read through them um, and take these case studies. I think that uh, we also released a bunch of uh, our skills videos. Uh, let's see if I can find them, the myocardial infarction one. These are case studies written by ED and ICU nurses. Um, so they will help in that sense as far as, you know, what, what's really happening in real life. Um, these are definitely much more in-depth 
than what you're going to see in like just a general case study thing. So these will take a bit of time to work through, um, but they definitely are fairly low fidelity as far as um, being able to touch a patient, get in there with, with the patient, but it is going to require uh, a lot of critical thinking. So maybe that'll help. We, we did release our IV course as well, um, where you guys could watch uh, different skills videos, different IV videos. So that IV video course is, is open and available for free uh, now as well. If you're not a member, so now that I'm trying to stream and stream video, that's not going to work very well. But um, So if you're not a member of nursing.com um, or you don't have the new grad membership, if you go to nursing.com, let me put that in there too, nursing.com, oops, hold on. Let me get the URL right so that I can share it with you guys. Nursing.com slash course. And let's see. Nursing.com slash course slash IV. Y'all can get in there and uh, that IV course is free right now. So that might be able to help you guys out. We're keeping the hours of what our current clinical hours would have been. Six to eight hours. Case studies, case studies, case studies. Yeah, nothing beats hands-on. So Francis says, nothing beats hands-on. Absolutely. Absolutely agree with that. Our instructor expects us to be online Zoom for 12 hours. Yikes. That is not very fun. Camille says, we're keeping the hours of what our clinical hours would have been. So around six or eight hours. Usually consists of whatever the teacher can find. So yeah, there's some virtual, there's some decent virtual classrooms out there and some virtual solutions as far as clinicals go. Um, we definitely, uh, here, and then let me, course, let me do the uh, nursing clinical 360. That's another one that might help uh, for some of you guys um, who are looking for like case studies and stuff like that. We do have our skills videos on there. Now it's not gonna be like virtual clinical, so it's not, uh, you know, uh, super great as far as that goes, but this nursing clinical 360 would be helpful as far as um, like seeing case studies, seeing IV starts, stuff like that. So it might help as far as that goes, but it's definitely not, you know, these higher level like virtual case studies and stuff like that. So Amy says, we're still planning on doing hands-on clinical, but may have to do them in the summer. That's good. I mean, I think if you can come back, get them done, course it does suck to have that happen during that summer break and everything but hopefully that helps out cool guys ah, cancel. all right let's see I did want to tell you guys about a couple things we have uh, coming up so yes or when was it shoot Thursday Thursday <clears throat> I stayed up until like four in the morning um, because I was we had heard from a lot of you guys that just having something for inspiration, having something for motivation was really important with everything that's going on. Just being able to stay motivated is, is the biggest challenge for a lot of you. So I stayed up until like four in the morning on uh, Thursday, I think it was, uh, working on this uh, happynursing.com. Um, and happynursing.com, what I ended up doing, you know, because I was trying to figure out how can we help with that? What can we do? Uh, and so I really kind of thought about what what is it that we have that we could do that I could get some motivation out there for you guys. And what I came up with is just this happynursing.com. You guys know we end every video with happy nursing. We, we love this idea of happy nursing. And not in the sense that like, just ignore all the bad and like be happy. But like the sense that like we're all in this together and we can work together to, to bring happiness and joy to nursing. Uh, so I threw this together Thursday night. Um, and it's really just a place for you to take your mind off the fears and stress of COVID-19. You're all going through it. We're all working and doing everything we can. And so what I did is I brought in a lot of our motivational videos, some about my story, uh, brought in a lot of our motivational podcasts, and then brought in some of our social posts. This is just a place you can come, waste 20 minutes, waste an hour, waste five minutes, just looking at some inspirational stuff to get your mind off of COVID, off of Corona, and just kind of get motivated about what is nursing uh, and why, kind of your why for becoming a nurse. So if you just head over to happynursing.com, you guys can uh, hang out there and just watch some videos. It's set up as a media site. Uh, there is no sign up. There is no login. There is no request for any sort of information. 
it's just completely out there free uh, for you guys to use because this is this is just hell, man. And you guys need some something to help out. So as you can see, there's nothing anywhere for you to download anything or, or opt in for anything or do anything. Um, it's just a bunch of our content out here available for you guys to to check out and uh, use. Yeah, Nurse Z says motivation is really low right now. I can understand that. Um, we've been rushing around trying to help as much as we can, and and today I think I. I, I hit a little wall with my motivation as well. It's like, when is this going to end? I think that's the hardest thing is we have no end date for this. Um, I ended up just kind of sleeping for a couple hours today, just exhausted, um, you know, because we need this. We're all motivated. We all want to help. We all want to do our, our part as nurses, right? But it's like, it's, we want this to end, you know, and we want to get through this. Francis says, Clinical 360 is awesome. Thank you for letting that be available. Lifetime Ender plus Inclex plus uh, all that. Let's see. I love it. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm glad. Looks awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, check it out. I think it'll it'll help. Um, it looks like you know people are able to go there and just see some of these videos and just there's all the stuff I've made throughout the last couple of years, just talking about um, some of my journey and some of what I've been through, um, but also pulling in stories from other people. So hopefully that helps out. <clears throat> uh, the other thing, there was another thing I wanted to share with you guys. The other thing I wanted to share with you guys is we actually finally have more of the NCLEX book uh, available. Um, I think, and Tammy's going to be mad if I say this, so I'll whisper it. I think if you go to that URL right now, you can actually get it. But we're not making really a big announcement until tomorrow. Um, so uh, let me show you the NCLEX book. Let me see if I can find it. Um, what is it? So nursing.com slash NCLEX book. Um, so it's a huge comprehensive NCLEX book. See if I can pull up some pictures. So it's got a bunch of our cheat sheets inside it. Uh, very visual. Um, it's got 159 full color images, 15 to seven cheat sheets, 458 pages, uh, 100 plus NCLEX questions. Uh, and it's all written, edited and stuff by some pretty incredible uh, nurses. Let me just go here and check. She told me it might be available. Yes, it is available. So it's got pretty good ratings. 89, 89% are five star. We've got 3% of people who really don't like us or don't like the book, I guess. So, so here we go. Here's a one star review. I'll bring this up. No fear. So it looks like, uh, we did actually address this with the new one. We're actually shipping them all have been shrink wrapped. We talked to our, uh, publisher and got them all shrink wrapped that also kind of helps protect you guys now it's kind of like no touch shipping um so let's see here's uh, nursing school bible knowledge is powerful this is the book <laughs> that's a cool video another video <laughs> i love that dude absolutely so excited best book this is awesome so it's a pretty book it's very it's colorful it's pretty it's uh you guys will like it if you get a chance uh, to get it. Um, so yeah, those are available now. Um, Camille says, love the NCLEX book. I bought it when it first came out. It's amazing quality and great content. Awesome. That's really good to hear, uh, Camille. We, we put it out there. Do I have one here at the house? You guys know this is my closet here. I don't think I have one here, um, but uh, they're all at the, up at the office. Uh, so yeah, you guys can grab that. Um, we, don't, we aren't able to sign them now. Uh, we were signing all the books and sending stickers and stuff, but uh, with all of this outbreak, we received the pallets from FedEx. They're sitting in our warehouse. They've been packed with gloves. They're all shrink-wrapped right now, but even when they arrive, you guys, take caution. Make sure you wipe them down. Wipe down the box they come in. Just uh, use extreme caution with that. They're going to come in an envelope uh, with our shipping manager, Joey. He's shipping them all in these uh, nice padded envelopes. They're all shrink wrapped. So the book itself has not been touched since it left the printer. Um, but just take extra caution. We want you guys to be safe. We don't need you guys getting sick. We need you guys staying safe, staying healthy, um, and getting to the floor as fast as we can get you to the floor. Um, so yeah. Anyway, guys, what's, what else is going on? How can we help you guys? What can we do for you guys? Tell me what we can do. Tell me what we can help. Tell me what we can motivate. Be formidable. You guys remember I just placed my order. Amy is on it, man. She's not wasting any time. 
she's getting on that. So you guys see I'm wearing this shirt, Formidable. I bought this shirt a couple months ago. Uh, and the idea of Formidable is you inspire fear or respect through being impressively large, powerful, intense, or capable. We're all feeling a little bit demotivated. Um, and I actually put this shirt on by accident. I just grabbed into my laundry after my shower tonight and happened to be this shirt and realized I was coming on with you guys and thought that was super appropriate. Uh, we don't want to inspire fear in people, but we do want to inspire respect because we are powerful, we are intense, we are capable, we're the nursing family, and we're going to get through this. We're going to get through this together. Uh, we're going to be stronger, um, and we're going to we're going to get through this. Um, but know that that if you're feeling isolated, if you're feeling alone, if you're feeling a little bit stressed, you're not alone. And in all honesty, in all uh, um, full disclosure, like. I'm feeling it too, man. I'm feeling the stress. I'm feeling the pressure. Um, but we're hoping we can continue to get to you guys what we can to help you, which is motivation, great education, great content, so that you guys come out a step ahead. How about start spring term tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, he's starting spring term tomorrow. Med Surge. Nice. Med Surge was my favorite course in nursing school. Um, I loved it. I loved diving into... It's like you take anatomy and physiology, you take med term, you take all that, you take fundamentals. But then when you get to med surge, it's like you start feeling like, okay, this is what it's all about. Um, this is what it's all about. And so that really excited me because it's like bringing med surge and pathophys and all that together into, okay, here's how we'd be a nurse. So med surge is awesome. You're going to love it. John says, no motivation to study. John, take a night off, go work on your truck and uh, then come back at it tomorrow. Get, get a good night's sleep. Uh, and you'll get back at it, man. I know you're going to do well. Uh, I know you're working hard. And just kind of keep it up, man. Be formidable. But uh, it's okay to feel a couple days of no motivation. Um, in some ways, we got to push through it regardless, right? Um, and some some days, we got to just fight that no motivation and, and push through it and make sure we get that study time in. But other days, guys, it's okay to take a little bit of time off. Um, I kind of busted my ass this whole week. Um Staying up till two or three in the morning, working every day, knowing that I was going to need Friday or Saturday and Sunday off. And sa Saturday, I think I only got on my computer and worked for about forty-five minutes. Today, I only worked for about an hour, but I slept a good amount and finally slept in um, a little bit. And and but I'm but I needed that time. Like, and I know that when I'm feeling motivated, I can get a lot done. And I'm going to hit it harder and harder and harder. But sometimes you know, you're doing yourself a better favor by just taking a little bit of time off um, and everything. Sarah says, starting a new job in a week, going from cardiac floor to emergency. That's awesome. That's awesome. I think the emergency department's going to be really lucky to have you. They're definitely going to need great nurses over there on the emergency room. Cool, guys. Yeah, guys. Sunday night, 10 p.m. here in Texas. 11 p.m. in New York. What would that make it? 8 p.m. in California. What has it been like? Who even knows? 2 o'clock in the afternoon in Hawaii or whatever. But you guys, get some rest. Rest up. Hit it hard next week. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. Uh, tonight, uh, watch a show you like. Eat a snack you love. Text somebody you haven't talked to in a while. Um, and come back at it hard in the morning. We're going to... Um, we're going to hit it hard again. Salvador said, just received my free nursing.com account with my school. So much uh, info. I love it. Salvador, it's nice to welcome you to the family. To date, since March 15th, we've given away about 40,000 uh, free accounts to nursing schools. Um, and we're going to be continuing doing that until May 15th. So it's pretty awesome to see that many people getting helped. That's right. Parks and Rec. <laughs> All right, guys. We love you guys. You guys know what time it is. Go out and be your best self, as always.